Sorry about that. I had a phone call come through mid mid midstream. But uh today I'm gonna bring y'all some real content. Uh, I got my party in for my 96 Caprice. You know what I'm saying? That's that uh upper control arm with the ball joint. I was saying before I got that phone call uh on the 96 Caprice it's a little different than some than some making models. Some cars you have a bolt in, you have a bolt in ball joint, and some cars you have a press fit ball joint. In my case, I have a press fit. <clears throat> Meaning my ball joint is press fitted into my control arm. And the reason why I just replaced the whole control arm because when the ball joint finally let go, the hole in which the ball joint presses in is completely wallered out. So I have to replace the whole control arm. From the looks of it, don't look like it's gonna be too hard. My buddy T Mac gonna help me. You know what I'm saying? The guy with the red MC, he gonna help me. Uh, gonna help me out with that. It shouldn't be but two bolts to remove the whole entire control arm. Replace the next one. The only part that'll be hard is getting the um, getting the old ball joint to pop out of the uh, to pop out of the assembly. I don't know what to call that just yet. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna get that sedated and situated so I can get my car out of my buddy driveway and we can go ahead and start moving on to the next project as of right now due to financial situations uh, my 96 is for sale uh, and that's local pickup I'm not shipping shit that's a thousand dollars as it sit but since I'm paying for it since I'm fixing it today uh, you can look at about two thousand you know what I'm saying Get, get, get that gone, but if it's not gone by September 1st, then be looking for more content on that particular make and model. Because uh, right now we got about five, about four or five Chevys that we're working on at one time. We got the uh, we got the Suburban, we got the 81 Impala, we got my 85, which I haven't uh, I haven't put any content content of that car up yet. Uh, I just recently moved, took that car to Kearns, Texas. To get it out the way until I got my got myself together down here, but I do have the 85 Caprice. Um, we got T Max Monte Carlo, my Lincoln Town car, and my 96 Caprice. So we got a couple cars that working on at one time, and I don't have any editing equipment just yet, nor a uh, nor a nice size camera. To make these videos with so the quality is not gonna be all that good and it's gonna be sporadic with the uploads because I don't I'm, I don't have Wi-Fi right now I've got all kind of shit that I need that I don't have so with that being said you may see content sporadically and it's not gonna be the best of quality but just bear with me we're gonna make it we're gonna make it enjoyable for you I know that for a fact so like comment subscribe you know let me know some I know I'm probably not gonna do the best, the best work ever, because we don't have the fork, the separation fork, to pull the ball joint out of the uh, assembly. So, be looking for some shade tree redneck and nigger rigging right there to get that out of there without messing up my assembly. But uh, yeah, so y'all look for that. Like, comment, subscribe. Got it? If, if I know it's gonna be people, oh, you're doing it all wrong. So I'm already, I'm already geared up for that. You know, uh, we just doing the best we can with what we got. Cause not all of us have all these tools. You know, just got together and one person got a bunch of tools, another person got a bunch of tools. But uh, that is something we need to invest in. That little, that, that, that separation for, it. especially we're dealing with the uh, with the type of cars that we deal with. You know, Lincoln Town cars and shit like that. They are bad on ball joints. Those cars, they, what you save in catastrophic engine failure, transmission problems, and any other problem that you'll have with your engine or transmission, you give up with your front end. So we do need to invest in that type of, that type of material. But what I'm about to do is I'm about to get the hell up out of this lane because I'm on 24s. And, yeah, this lane is up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. I'll be on the side of the road nursing a flat tire here in a minute. So let me get out of this lane. YouTube and get at y'all in a minute. By the time by the time this upload, I have the other video already on this way of uh, the installation of the control arm, and then I'll be able to uh, show y'all a little bit more what we plan to do with popcorn, the sewing machine, the MC, and uh, we'll get back at y'all. Peace.